hello guys welcome back to my channel if you are old here thanks and if you are new here please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell to get notified anytime i upload a new video in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to design a business flyer using adobe photoshop without any further ado let's get started so over here i'm using a5 paper size and now I'm going to create a solid color. Okay. Now I'm going to select a cycle. Hold your shift key to draw a perfect cycle. bring it down to this position then duplicate it ctrl plus j hold your alt key while you drag it down then arrange it the way you want it to be now i'm going to apply a color Then select a color from here. I'm going to use of this color. Then I will adjust the position. Then I'm going to leave it this way. Then duplicate it. Then I'll position this one at the top here then set it the way i want it to be all right now i'm going to change the font color i mean the background color then duplicate it and reduce the size Then on this one, hold your control key while you click on it. Then select this one and rasterize it. Go to your eraser to select it. And I'm going to clean off the selected area. So you can see how it look like. Okay then now i'm going to turn it on then duplicate this one ctrl plus j to duplicate now hold your alt key and i'm going to drag it this way is okay because I want it to be positioned at the center of this white one. Now, I pick my lasso tool and I'm going to cut off this one. Then, select this wing then combine it and I'm delete it you will have something like this ctrl plus d to deselect then now I'm going to remove the color of this one and apply a stroke color Then input this number. So six is okay. All 
on this one then what i'm going to do now i'm going to apply a stroke color then also i'm going to make use of this number for the size then hold your alt key while you reduce the size Then also change the stroke color of this one. So now I'm going to duplicate this one I selected and reduce the size, bring it down over here. Now increase the size. something like this all right then also i duplicate this one now position it over here then remove the stroke color and change the background color let it be lighter already i have prepared the test on the ground so when i reach where i'm going to put my place my test i'm going to import my test because i have already arranged the test on ground so that it will not take much time while typing the test So now I'm going to group all this one together. So here now we have reached the stage for the test. Now the, the next thing is to go and import my test. Here are the tests. So I'm going to drag it in one by one. So this guideline is to enable us to arrange it properly. With this guideline, all the tests will be aligned in a normal position. So these are the things. Now it's not going to be more stressful by typing it again since the design has already been made. So all we have to do is to import it and place it. Now I'm going to group all these ones so that each of them will be separated from others. Now I'm going to group all this one together.
then I'll select it. Hold your shift key while you are selecting it. Hold your shift key while selecting it. And you can use Ctrl plus G to group it. So the next one I'm going to import this one. And position it over here. Increase the size. Then also import this one. Position it over here. Increase the size. All right. Then you group it. Now we are going to draw a rent angle down to this cut line. Then create a shape. Only the right top corner. Yes, okay, like this. Then now import this one and drag it. To this position then arrange it something like this now select it and group it together so what we are going to do next now is to import our images to reduce the size of the image right click and create a clipping mask use your arrow key to control it Then the next one, go to your resource file. So, this picture over here is from Free Peak. So, if you want any of this picture, then you can search for social media images. Then you will get something like this. Or look for any picture from Google to create something like this. So this is all about this design. If you like it, please kindly subscribe. Then turn on the notification bell to get notified for more videos. And don't forget to, to like and share. Also, if you need any flyer, you can check in the description below and you will see my Fiverr account. Then make your order. And secondly, if you want to optimize your video, there is a link in the description. Great a two body account using the link in the description to optimize your videos on social media. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate. And don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell.